As someone who's played countless amounts of video games, I always get the question of which character resonates with you the most. Characters like Joel Miller, Arthur Morgan, even Trevor Phillips all have relatable qualities. I hate hipsters. But one character sticks out the most, and he's not even from a video game. Gunta Gintei. Behold. The only thing greater than yourself. Roots takes place during the Age of Slavery as it follows the generations of Kunta Kinte, a man born in freedom and died in shackles. But his hope for freedom lived on from generation to generation until that inevitable day of emancipation came. Hear me, O oh African. You is free at last. We is free. There are many films and TV shows about the black experience. Shows like The Boondocks, which is a satirical take on modern black life, and Django Unchained, which is more of a power fantasy. Roots takes more of a grounded experience, based on true family stories told to its creator, Alex Haley. It all started right here, right on that front porch when I was a little boy, and Grandma would tell me the family stories. And I just can't help feel that it was meant to be, that when I would become a man, those stories would become first a book then a television film, both of which symbolize as much a part of America's history as does the Mayflower. What makes Roots so captivating to me is that it tells an American story with a black perspective. Before Roots, we had next to nothing truly showing life during slavery. Unlike movies like Gone with the Wind or Birth of a Nation, which grossly misrepresent black people in general, Roots doesn't shy away from the fact that this was a dark time in history. Your name is Toby. It shows how ignorance can be used as a vessel for intolerance, but also finds a way to humanize those who participate but question these inhumane acts. Tell me, Mr. Carrington, do you ever wonder on what topic, sir, to what end? As to whether or not we are just as much imprisoned as are those chained in the hold below, that we do harm to ourselves by taking part in this endeavor. Harm? What harm can there be in prosperity, sir? What harm is a full purse, I'd like to know? Like how he strived to de-Indianize the Indian, all things African are removed. Kunta's language, clothing, culture, even his name is stripped from him. All things that make him African are taken, but in defiance, he still works to keep his culture and spirit alive. And you see this rooster feather? This bring Kunta's spirit. Hair from horse make Kunta strong. Bird bone, that bring me luck. As a half-black man born to a Jamaican immigrant, I sometimes try to keep in touch with my culture as well. I obviously will never experience the brutality and inhumanity of slavery, but I've had people question the validity and even deny me who I am, and that's how I can somewhat resonate with Kunta. Woman, I done told you, my name ain't no Toby. I am Kunta Kente, son of Omaro and Benta Kente, a fighting man from the village of Jufare. In reality, none of us will truly understand what took place during those times, but I like the fact that in the end, both descendants of slaves and slavers were able to reflect and come together. To heal and to bind. Thank you. I hope one day we as a society can do the same, not through hatred and anger, but through understanding and respect. I think a lot of people should watch this series, and maybe even one day, you yourself can reconnect with your own roots. Africans. Americans. <laughs>